My name is Bill Haley for the um, Haley 2024, the movements, government reform ideas. This um, video is going to be on competitive school boards, but this article is, if the government was in charge of food, similar to education, what would food and grocery stores look like and act like and the consequences and results? And I wanted to, I want to go to a competitive school board system, a school choice idea to stop the socialism that's within the public school system, to stop what I consider a lot of negative effects and negative results of the public school system. So I want to change that, where every parent selects from a dozen school boards. And then some of the school boards can be very um, um, easy or um, conducive to private schools. And um, a lot of private schools would not mind being within the public school system in this manner because they have a lot of liberty to do exactly what they're currently doing as long as they're academically educating children. I'm going to go through the, I'm not going to go through it right now. You can pause and read the full um, bullet points. There's about a dozen or so bullet points on the public, I mean, the competitive school board um, thing. Um, you can pause on this one and finish reading that if you wish to. But um, let's talk about what happens if we did food, like we did the government schools. And a lot of people have done this. I'm not the first. Um, I've done it. I did it before I read any of the other articles uh, many, many years ago. Uh, but then I read it and it's like, okay, some very similar ideas, but I think I have different ideas than what they did. Well, I wrote it up and have different takes on it. So the government has progressively gained control over the education and at higher levels of government at higher levels of government. So <clears throat> not just at the public or not at the city level, but at the state level and even at the federal level now. So it's progressively gaining control at the government level versus private level and at higher levels of government. Parental rights have slowly but now very severely been compromised. This is similar to a frog in a pot of water with the heat turned up. So the frog doesn't... Um, no, it's being boiled until the frog is dead and boiled. Um, where if the frog, it's too much of um, government came in to the school system all at once, parents would have um, reacted strongly, jumped out of the water, and um, changed the system. But because it's changing slowly and slowly, um, they, they have taken over significant um, levels of parental rights and religious liberties, and just, um, they, they're much more controlled than they should be. Um, to endeavor to show people the high levels of control, let's compare food, grocery stores and stuff, um, to education. What if the food supplied was similar to education? Okay, government taxes for food would rise very high and be hidden throughout dozens of taxes. So you wouldn't even know how you're paying for it. Some will be in sales taxes, some would be in um, income taxes, some would be in um, payroll taxes, some would be in um, real estate taxes, some would be in taxes for your phone and just a whole bunch of different taxes. It, it would be spread out all over the place versus directly paying for your groceries. <laughs> the government will then offer to fund your grocery bill if they controlled everything you eat. If you want to have control over your grocery bill, you would have to back off and get no funding from the government. No government food for you, unless government's totally in charge of you. You can't go half and half. Just like parents can't go half and half into the public school system. Half they agree with, half they don't. Hey, I'll put you in math class, but take you out for history class. I'll take put you in for um, this English class, but take you out for um, this other class. No, it's all or none right now. Okay, if you want to choose the food you ate, you would be given the option. You, um, if wait a minute, let me read this again. If you wanted to choose the food you ate, you would be given the option. However, all government funding would be forfeited, so you would be given the off um, option of eating what you want to eat. Just like parents can pull their children out, put them in the public school system, and educate their children the way they want to, but all government funding would be forfeited. You still have to pay the um, government funding for um, food. You just don't get any benefits because you want to control what you eat. You don't want government to control what you eat. If the government food system, in the government food system, you could not be accommodated if you had religious objections 
or prefer to eat certain types of food. Now, sometimes they say they um, they give um, they they accommodate for religious values in the public school system, but by and large, that's only a fig leaf over a few little things. They they're really taking a lot of control away. Okay, government control has always proven to be more expensive. So, plan on that to happen. So, the price would be significantly higher. Innovative Innovation in food production and farming would drop. Why would they, why would you um, have innovation in food production? Uh, it, would, it would definitely drop. Politicians would put in place price controls to rein in high prices. So, they were trying to put in some price controls. And price controls always end up with high prices, lower quality, which would result in higher prices. Price, price controls by government always ends up with higher prices. It just does. Uh, it, it's counterproductive. Food shortages and long lines at stores have proven to be the standard in other expenses in socialized food. So other countries, you see food, um, food long food lines and food shortages and and loss of um, different type of foods. Farmers and processors would be given government jobs. And politicians always try to increase jobs, especially government jobs. And now they're in charge of dollars, um, salaries. So they always try to increase the salaries. That increases the price of food. It always does. Because, hey, if you pay somebody more, they're going to vote for you. And... and the, that government position is given um, is the boss. So you want the boss that's going to pay you more. So you're going to vote for the boss that pays you more. Okay. If you want to shop at another government food provider, you would have to move to where you lived, move where you live to the other food district. So right now, if you want to um, change schools, you have to actually fiscally move your residency to within that school district. The government, well, within the school lines, every school district is maybe the, the city, but then each city has lines drawn to where you go to actual school, school A or school B. There's those line. I used to live on a road where it was right on the line. People on the other side of the street from me went to one school. My side of the street went to the other school. If I wanted to uh, move to the other side of the street by another house, we would have to do that to get to the other school. Uh, if you, okay, if the government would try to give people a feeling of control by allowing everyone to elect their food board. So you, you can have control how your children are elected. Just elect a school board that you like. The board elected to collect all the food liberties and rights. Food liberties is what you want to do, what you want to eat. The liberty of eating what you want to eat. Um, the school board buys those up. With, with your funding and, um, and those rights from all the people enrolled and then to exercise that, exercise that control. So, yeah, you can vote for the people, but what if you don't win? And even if you did win, you still have to, that, that they might only be 10%, 20% of what you want. Um, and the other person was 5% of what you wanted. So you voted for the people that was 10, 20% of what you want. Versus five or ten percent of what you want. Everyone would live under the board's control, whether or not you voted for them. The food board would campaign for more vegetables or fruits. Some would be vegetarians, while others would champion fast food and junk food. Whoever wins would control all the food and all within the city who wish to get that benefit of the tax dollars back in the form of food. So. If you want to be, if you want to get, if you want to get that government benefit of government food or government funding for that food, you have to um, abide by your elected leaders' decisions on what you're going to eat. Um, okay, if you wanted higher quality food than what you were offered, you would have to give up all funding. So people want a higher education than what they can get in a public school system. Let's say. They want something that's twenty five thousand, and um, on average per student, and they're they're offered fifteen thousand dollars per student, or even twenty thousand dollars per student in the public school system. Well, they have to get they don't just get to pay five thousand dollars more, 
have their money flow with their child and pay an extra five thousand dollars. They have to give up all twenty thousand, fifteen to twenty thousand, and pay the full twenty five thousand on their own. Okay, if you want, okay, if you could provide for your own food needs at less expense than the overpriced, overpriced public sector, you would not have the option of being exempt from the tax and providing for yourself. So, hey, I can do it cheaper. I can do it for five thousand dollars a year. Um, you're giving me fifteen thousand dollars worth of food a year, but I don't really don't like your food. I don't have the option of just I'm not gonna pay your taxes. I'll pay for my food on my own. I'll grow my food. I'll I have a I'm chicken chicken coop or whatever. You can't do it on your own, um, or unless you give up all the um all your rights to the government funding, and you can't just say. Hey, don't tax me. In the pub, in the public school system, for the people who want to be outside the um, public school system, private schools, homeschoolers, they will love to say, okay, we don't have to pay the um, government taxes for education, the education taxes. We will love that. But that wasn't an option to us. Okay. Um, so let's keep on going. Food advocacy groups would become much stronger because people would contribute a lot of money to influence who was elected and their food policy to get their preferences. Many liberals would find local control not as good as state and state control not as good as federal. So it it would keep on trying to move it up to different levels like we do see um, public school, more state control and more federal control. Okay, advocacy groups would lobby hard for everyone in the nation to eat the way they um, wish. They would claim, and then also, what's a food pyramid? We already see that uh, big food processors, food, food food companies, they lobby government to, um, hey, use us, and we'll give you campaign contributions. Okay, the, um, they would claim that people are not competent to choose for themselves and attempt to force everyone currently outside the public food system to be forced by law to enroll. That's kind of like what's going on with the public school system. There's many people who want to ban private schools and homeschoolers, force everybody into the public school system. So that would be part of this system as well, saying, hey, they're not competent to um, feed themselves. After a certain time of being cooked, going back to the um, frog analogy, by the government's high heat of control, people would forget about the benefits of free enterprise food and claim that food is just too important for competition, and that most people would starve if the government did not provide the food. Okay, that's into the article. There's a lot there. It, it, it's a good um, analog to the um, to the public school system, and you 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 can see how food would be um, have a lot of problems. Just like there's a lot of really good. Um, problems being fair and um and you lose a lot of liberty within the public school system okay if you want to know this um structure of competitive governance i call it competitive regulatory agencies here's some structure you're not going to understand it everything by just pausing and reading these couple things you have to go on my website wait till i explain everything but i i just wanted to give you an example to say i do have a structure how we can all work and um as the structure goes um, it, there is a hierarchy, but the biggest control is near the bottom at your competitive regulatory agency, your competitive governance. Um, and we separate government into 30 sectors. This is another subject. Go look at Haley 2024, the movements, government reform ideas at Haley2024.org. And there's a lot more there to see. Until the next video.